All right, thank you, Sam. And thinking of location, 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 that's how you today's mean, weather alert. Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up, everybody. Here's what's going on. We've got windy and elevated fire conditions coming across Colorado today. We've got snow and rain also trying to kick into the region. Now, these rain and thunderstorms are going to happen primarily during the afternoon. There are some rain showers out there this morning, especially up by Denver. Going to have your wipers going a little bit up there, but the heavier moisture is going to come to the south a little later on today. Now, rain will change to snow. Snow accumulations are primarily going to be over 7,000 feet, but tonight there could be really strong winds, and if we're seeing snow with wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, visibility issues are going to be a concern. I think especially in between, oh, I would say Glen Eagle and Castle Rock. So I'll talk more about that soon. Here's the radar. We've got most of our moisture still moving into western Colorado as we speak. There is a bit more rain and snow out there that we can see on Doppler, but we've got some snow over the Sangre de Cristos, and we're kind of looking to see what sort of sprinkle or shower we get from Teller County and northern El Paso County up to Denver. Now, we are going to bring snow into the forecast tonight through early tomorrow morning. Snow showers will start in the Pikes Peak region, and then as the atmosphere cools, the snow will leave to the south, so air Areas like Rye, Walsenburg, and Trinidad will get some snow a little longer tonight than we'll see up in northern El Paso County. Now, the thing is, Monument is a little bit of a wild card in the snow forecast. Models are trying to put double my forecast over Monument Hill, but I think the air is too warm. I think the ground is too warm, so this is my forecast for accumulation right now. We're going to reassess the Monument Hill snow pro forecast through the morning when we get some more model data fed in, but I'm pretty comfortable with the these totals right now. Temperatures are in the 40s and yes, even some 50s out there. So we're pretty warm ahead of a big drop in temperatures. We know that cold air comes in from the north, 50s in Denver to Monument Hill, but La Junta, Pueblo, Springfield, we're in the 60s and 70s. So that warm air takes a little longer to kick into the southeast plains. Now in our super seven day forecast today, the big stories in our region for Colorado Springs are rain, some scattered thunder and then snow and wind overnight. Now, Daytime rain and thunderstorms will be there through the afternoon. Gusts this evening could hit over 40 miles per hour, and we could see some snow up around the Palmer Divide. So think Monument Hill into Palmer Lake. Uh, that could be pretty heavy, but not accumulate super well. Could have an isolated rain to snow mix tomorrow and some more showers on Friday. In Pueblo, we're too warm. We're just getting rain over the next 24 hours. So daytime rain and thunderstorms, some showers overnight. Windy tomorrow, and to me it looks pretty dry with warmer air over the weekend. Canyon City, we're just getting rain, but tonight there could be some rain to snow mixing in. No accumulation though, even if a few flakes fall with the rain and isolated showers Friday. Woodland Park, it could be a heavy snow this evening, anywhere from about two to five inches, and we're accounting for some melting on pavement there. Kind of a rain to snow mix tomorrow and some moisture on Friday. Let's hit traffic.